opposition house leader. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Uh, members, I want to uh, uh, take you on a trip down memory lane, uh, 16 years in fact. Uh, no, I'm not talking about uh, those 16 years. I'm not. Well, we'll save that for another day. I'm talking about the 16 successful years that Ed and Vicki Collette of Harper's Trail Winery have spent in the wine business up in Kamloops. Ed recalls that through his travels to wine regions around the world, particularly Australia and Chile, he was struck by how their climates were similar to that of the Thompson River Valley. The observation uh, sparked a dream that led to the couple opening Kamloops' first winery in 2012. They have enjoyed a very successful business, growing Harper's Trail to a 5,000 case brand, producing 100% estate wines grown on the property's 25 and a half acre vineyard. Over the span of 10 vintages, their wines have garnered many top honors in prominent national and international wine competitions. But importantly, they helped put Kamloops on the map as a legitimate wine territory in BC's landscape. And I will suggest they've added one more element to Kamloops' long-standing uh, rival with uh, that wine uh, powerhouse in Kelowna. Honorable Speaker, last week, uh, Ed and Vicky announced their impending retirement. Uh, they will open their tasting room for a final month this May, and they're inviting the community to come and help them celebrate and savor their final vintage. Uh, they also plan to release an exclusive collection of library wines. Uh, Ed and Vicky have listed uh, their winery for sale and hope to find a, a reputable successor to take Harper's Trail to that next level. Uh, very tempting uh, next career choice, perhaps, for some. Uh, but in all seriousness, Mr. Speaker, uh, they will leave behind a tremendous legacy, and the people of Kamloops and the surrounding area wish them the very best as they pursue the next chapter in their lives. Thank you.